it's absolutely Baltic outside and we have the firelight. And myself and Hayley decided to have a real chilled out, cosy day today. There's not much going on. Hayley was up early this morning and she's not feeling great. She was lying on the sofa. She's actually gone up to lie down in her bed now. And I think watch a bit of YouTube and stuff. And it is currently, it's about half six in the evening. I'm only starting this vlog because as I said, we were just sitting there. We were actually watching ski jumping and then we were watching ski cross country, something like that. But she was literally lying on the couch and just chilling out and that's the sort of day we had today but wait till i show you how cozy and warm this fire looks so that's it the fire there all nice and warm lovely and cozy i think it's about minus two out at the moment and i know tomorrow and monday are meant to be colder so we were just like yeah we like the fire so that's what we did today and as you can see i have my lights on there these are the ones I keep up. I brought in, I took down the red lights and I put up these like hanging bulbs. And then I have my candles and my box lights. So they're the lights that will stay up all year. And that's obviously my lamp is over there in the corner beside the heaters. So yeah, we've just been chilling out in here watching telly. That was where Hayley was sleeping on that couch. But she's gone upstairs now. I'm going to make her a hot water bottle. And um bring it up to her so that's and there's Mr Tony he was sleeping all day today just lazing in front of the fire weren't you you big lump you okay sir you're not talking to me because I have the camera right? no but you're looking good you're well rested aren't you the wood on the fire gave you a bit of a fright because it kept crackling. But other than that, he's well rested. Nearly time for dinner. Yeah, I'm going to move on. I know what you're saying. haley has gone up. There's her hot water bottle here. So I'm going to make this and she can have that then on her belly. Time of the month as well doesn't help. So she's not feeling great. So today, tonight, today, today, today or tonight for dinner, I hope made up some spaghetti bolognese yesterday and there's some left over so Carl's having that for his dinner today and I'm going to have soup and a sandwich I think soup and a toasted sandwich um, and then I'm going to clean the kitchen because as I said we've been sitting in front of the fire all day all day it's so cold at the moment anyway so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this kitchen so this is how the kitchens look at the moment it's not too bad dishwasher needs emptying just needs filling up dog food put away and we're going to give that a bit of a clean and then that will be us for tonight so that's Hayley's hot water bottle made up for as I said time of the month she just wants a fur belly but you know is there something very the hot water the boiling water going into the hot water bottle is a very distinctive smell and it automatically takes you back to your childhood but it does for me anyway Right, let me bring this up to her.
Hello guys and it is the next day. My video my video, not my video. My SD card got full last night in the middle of me cleaning my kitchen, so I just finished cleaning my kitchen. Went to bed. That was the extent of last night. But today I got my glasses. It is absolutely Baltic. It's four degrees out and it's three o'clock in the day. But it is freezing. But we are on our way to the airport. We are collecting, Miss Kerry is coming from Galway. She is coming up to stay with me for a couple of days, three or four days. And she's going for her nuclear scan in Bowman Hospital. So that's why she's coming up. Haley, on the 19th, she has that scan. And on the 19th, Haley's friend is collecting her from my house and heading back to Donegal. So yeah, so exciting times. I'm sorry, I'm sat in traffic. So yeah, so it's nice, the girls are swapping over and so we'll have two days with the two girls in the house then they'll, Haley will go and then I think Monday morning, Kerry's going to get an early bus to college from the airport again. So that could get her back down to Galway. So yeah, so I'll go, go, go at the moment. Um, as I said, heading to the airport, going to collect Kerry, asked her what she wanted for dinner and she wants saucy and chips and beans for dinner. So I said, okay, okay, I can do that. So that is what we're probably going to have for dinner. But yeah, so hope you are all having a cracking week. As I said, it's chilly at the moment. It's four degrees at three o'clock in the day. This is the warmest part of the day, but it is Baltic. There's a wind out that would literally go through you for a shortcut. So I'm on, yeah, I think I'm in Santry. I was down with a friend, um, invited me down for lunch and then proceeded not to make lunch. So I'm actually hungry now. But uh, yeah, so that's it. Mam's talking to Mam today. Mam's in great form. She got her blood taken for her diabetes. And yeah, she's in great form. Absolutely flying form. I think she's going in to get her hair done today or tomorrow. She goes in every week and gets her hair set. So she does. So um, yeah. Right, I'll go because I'll only stay here waffling away. Just, so I will talk to you in a bit. Alright guys, good morning. It is now Thursday. Week is flying along. We actually had a catch of care from the airport and we just had such a chat and just a chill out even just chatting and catching up. Excuse me, but we're on our way to the hospital now for her scan. So we just stopped to the garage so she could grab some water. Right, I'll talk to you in a bit. Alright guys, so I've queued to get into the car park in Bowman Hospital for 45 minutes and I'm still not there. Um, I've had to kick Carrie out of the car because uh, her appointment she has to be there oh excuse me 20 minutes beforehand to be um, injected and prepped for this new care scan God love her I felt sorry for her she's so nervous today and I think it's the last time we went for this this is her second one she uh, she didn't know what to expect so she was fine where now she knows what to expect, so she's nervous today. So yeah, so I feel sorry for her. And as I said to her, as soon as I park up, I'll fly into the hospital to you. I said, don't be worrying, like. So it's times like that when you realize that your child is still a child, you know? As much as growing up and out in the world, they are, you know, they're going for something and they still want their mommy and they still want you to be there with them and hold their hand and yeah. So Haley's gone up. I can't even take off my glass. Too too bright. Um, I'm fa actually facing directly into the sun nearly while it's here, here. So, but um, Haley's gone up to let her Kenny, her friend, collected her there at about ten to ten. So we were actually in the queue. But um, and we wouldn't mind when we joined this queue. We were like an hour. Um, an hour and a bit. Early. So um. What do you do? Like, anyway, not to worry. Hopefully, I'll get there. Even if I miss her going in for a scan, I'll be there when she comes out. And then there's a Starbucks on the way out. So I said to her, I said, Look, we'll grab you a hot chocolate 
on the way out because it's freezing. It's two degrees. So it's Baltic. But the car is cozy and warm. Anyway, so Haley's gone up to Letter Kenny. I'm actually going to go up, I think, around the 6th to collect her. And one of the reasons I'm going up to collect her is I need to go. I have some sterling. So I said to her, I said, what I might do is I might go into Asda because Ready Breck, chocolate Ready Breck, which is chocolate, it's like a smooth porridge. Um, Asda do their own brand, but it's, I can't find the Ready Breck chocolate in Tesco's, Dunn's, any of them don't seem to have it. But Asda has their own brand and they have it and it's Carl would eat the smooth red the smooth porridge the ready brick um so i like to grab up that for him and then you get or other stuff that's like what did i get the last day i went up a spiced cranberry ketchup it is absolutely divine gorgeous with brie on a toasted wrap so uh yeah i might grab up another bottle of that again it's all his own brand and the only place i've seen it so we go up, oh lads, I'm two cars away. There's a car in front of me and then I'm in. Right. I'm going to go, because you won't be able to see me now because the sun's behind me. And I will talk to you in a, probably after we come out of the hospital. All right, guys, so we are heading back to Dublin Airport. Um, we're dropping Kerry back to get the quarter past 12 bus, yep. back down to Galway, and then the bus out to my mum's. So I'm going to let Kerry explain to you this week it's just she came up on a Tuesday and it's been a whirlwind really yeah, hasn't pretty it pretty much pretty much so I'm going to let Kerry explain I'm going to concentrate on driving because it's very important so I will let Kerry explain what's been going on um so basically when I got my driver's license I noticed that like my right eye wasn't as good anymore well and it was the test wasn't it yeah the test it was the, to go on your be noted on your on my driver's license yeah and she said well you definitely need to come back <laughs> And uh, a year later, I finally did it. So I went back. I well, hang on. There was a couple of mitigating factors that led to you now going. Yeah. You lost your glasses. Yeah. <laughs> somewhere. The, yeah, I lost my glasses somewhere. And then the first pair were broken going to America. Yeah. Um, I may add, they were not in a case and they were thrown into a bag. That's how they broke. And then TSA threw my bag. Besides the point, anyway, um, so I um, got all new prescription glasses and contact lenses. So I had to go and do that lesson on Friday. Well, hang on, that was on, you arrived on the Tuesday, so on yeah. the Wednesday you had to go get your eyes tested. Yeah. And you also had met up with a friend. Yeah. So that was Wednesday. Yeah. Thursday? Thursday rolls around. And I have to go back for my nuclear scan in Beaumont. And the reason I had to redo the scan was because where my kidney is, there's a different protocol for the machine. Well, the, sorry, the other thing is they don't normally do nuclear scans that close together. Yeah, they don't recommend, like, they don't normally do them. I, I pretty much had them back to back, when you think about it. Because um, the last one was three months ago. Yeah, so normally they leave a bigger gap because yeah. obviously it's a nuclear scan. They're injecting normally it. they leave, um, I think it's between six to eight months apart. Yeah. Um, like every six months, like even like the people in that were there that ha were getting um, it done for cancer detection, they get it done every six months. You don't generally do them so close together because it's radiation. So <laughs> I went in and I was like, can I ask why I'm doing this scan again? And she was like, oh, because the you need a different protocol for the machine. I was like, okay, what is that? And she was like, basically, because if I was a normal person with normal kidneys in the right area, it would just be the under side of the machine. Okay, yeah. yeah. And they didn't, the last radiologist didn't turn on the top one. Hang on, the last radiologist wasn't informed. And he wasn't, that, in, yeah, that was a big thing as well. He wasn't informed that her kidney wasn't where it was meant to be, yeah. that it was floating around her body. <laughs> We've never, we've never ended up having a floating kidney. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My kidney's completely moved. Um, and the radiologist was standing in the room just to see the, the first kind of couple of images coming through, like rendering. Just in case it has to be adjusted. Yeah. Or if I need, like, more contrast or whatever. I say contrast, it's radiation. Or if I need more dialectic. But it is. Or dialectic. Yeah. So, the first 
Vic comes through and she goes, is that your kidney? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, I've never seen that before. She goes, you, you only see that with transplant patients where the kidney is there. She's like, this is really cool. I was like, thanks. Um, so you do, the first scan is 30 minutes, well, between 20 to 30 minutes. Then they readjust the machine again for another three minutes, two to three minutes. Then you go out, you go to the bathroom, you come back, get back into the machine for another minute, two minutes, and then you're done. Overall, it probably takes 40 minutes or less, between 30 to 40 minutes. Um, but I was the only abdominal scan <coughs> today, um, that day. on that day, so it was done very fast. Um, and then on Friday, I had my contact lesson, so I was putting in and out my contacts. And, and making sure you don't gouge out your own eyeball. It's actually quite hard to gouge out your own eyeball. I know, but that, that's um. terrible. So I suppose if nowadays in the, the, the environment we live in, yeah. if they didn't show you and specifically state you were not to gouge your eyeball out, yeah. some Egypt would gouge their eyeball out and sue them the thing because is, they weren't told. Yeah, the other thing is I'm not very flinchy with my eyes no. because when I was in healthcare, this one time somebody scratched me right on the corner of my eye and because unfortunately that person had had an accident, they I had to go into decontamination, in the decontamination room and you put your eyes mum calls it an eye bath I call it your eyeballs being sprayed down because that's what it feels you used, like you used to be able years ago it was like a small cup and it was Optrex and you bought it on I a, remember and you'd put it over your eye hold yeah. your eye open and you'd it, they're called eye baths yeah this is just continuous saline water spraying yeah onto your eyes it's and you have to hold your eyes shower. open and at one point I turned and I'd probably done it for maybe 30 seconds and the nurse went, what are you doing? Puts his hand on the back of my head and pushes me down again. I'm like, what What are you doing? And he's like, you have to do it for a ministry. Lovely. So I was like, great. So I was able to do my contacts very, very, very quickly actually. Um, so for that appointment, it's an hour as well. Because, you know, they, yeah. they watch you do it. Today is Saturday. Today is Saturday and I'm going home. She's going home? I'm going home. Back down to Grandma. Yeah. Sorry, um, I just remembered Grandma wants me to give you this to bring so, with you. Oh, okay. What is it? It's her MRI for her knee. Oh. Her doctor wants it and I had it in my car. Sorry. Um. So yes, yeah, so then... Um, that's really it. Like it, it doesn't seem like a lot, but all of these appointments were an hour. Yeah, and they were all well. The, the eye obviously wasn't far away from us. It was no. in town, but like at Beaumont, I queued for forty-five minutes to get into Beaumont the car, car park. And, yeah, like, you, you bailed on me. Yeah, you bailed. Um, but I was there on time, and that's um, the main thing. I actually saw one of the doctors that I saw in the Lords over the summer. Oh, oh that's right, yeah. I was like, oh my god, hi. And she's like, oh, here's your back. And I'm like, great, actually. <laughs> now that I've stopped working in up there. Yeah. So, Kerry, how is college going for you? College is going very good. So, you got your new timetable? Yep. You happy? Yep. Good. So, um, basically, for this semester, I had to pick another elective. So, I'm doing something quite interesting, which is rural field studies. So I go out into a field, I take a photo, I do a bit of drawn, I write down some coordinates on a compass, and that is like 20%. So nice. it's very practical based. The other one was um, tourism geography, which is like, you know, 30% is done in class, and then 70% is on your exam. And I was like, do I want to add another <coughs> exam? Especially a big time? exam, a 70% yeah. exam. So I was like, I'm just going to be nice to myself. But you are looking for, actively looking for accommodation in Galway yeah. City. The, it's getting to the point now where, like last semester, it was too bad because some of my classes finished at like three, four. Now all of my classes finish at five. So, or Which, s like well, five or six. Yeah, but like five there. means if she can get the half five bus, brilliant. If she can't, it's a quarter past six. But it means she's not getting home till eight, half eight in the evening. And, I and have then to back go up through Mam Valley. That's hilarious. 
tell them the story of how you right. were kidnapped. I was kidnapped. Kidnapped. So I did not pay a ransom to get her back. My phone. They just gave her back. My phone was on 3%. I'm queuing in the bus station for the 6.15 bus. I look up to see this, you know, the, the, the stops. And it goes Limerick, Ennis, Clifton. So now, yeah. This was actually a lot more panic inducing than I have let on. So I was like, okay, well, I'm just gonna book the bus. I'm gonna quickly do the bus ticket. My phone is dying, it doesn't matter because I'll get the ticket. Got the ticket, got on the bus. The bus driver looks at my ticket and goes, You're taking the long way tonight. What's that supposed to mean? Can sir? I just say the bus did not go to Ennis and did not go to Clare Limerick. or Limerick? It didn't, yeah. Um, it was actually the Clifton bus she got on. So, it's dark at this point. Um, it's winter. It's winter. The fog is coming down. The mist is rolling in. Do you know what it could have been? But it was so fucking dark outside. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so we leave, whatever. I'm chatting to this girl on the bus who's actually in ATU as well, but she's in a different campus. Mm. So, we're chatting on the bus, whatever. She gets off in... Up to right. So at this point, I'm fairly certain of where I am, and I'm not as panicked anymore. So I look for a charger and realize they've no sockets and only USB ports. So I'm like, shit, I don't have a USB. USB port. I don't have a USB cable, I only have my big touchpad charger, which is fast charging. So at some point, we get to recess. Now I'm thinking, okay, I'm a half, less than a half an hour out of Clifton. Two hours later, I still don't know where I am. And it's dark and the bus has like the heating on but I'm at like kind of the back end of the bus so it's just pure heat. I look out because I'm starting to feel sick from the heat. All you can see is darkness so I'm like I'm gonna get sick. This is not good. I'm like so there was this old woman on the bus. So there's about four of us remaining right. Four. On the whole bus. On the whole bus. After recess four. What about Linan? Did you not go through? Ah, 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 let me let me so there was no announcement for Lena. The next time that bus said anything was Kyle Moore Abbey. And I went, what? How am I in Kyle Moore Abbey? So, your <laughs> one's there and she's talking to me. She just goes, you look awful, pale, are you okay? And I was like, I feel really sick and it's so dark. It's like, I can't, I don't know where I am. I'm really disorientated at the moment. And she goes, oh, we'll be getting to letter frack soon. And I'm like, I don't understand if I went for recess. To Kyle Moore. Like, my brain was like, where? Where? In the good God did we detour? So, you wouldn't get off in that frack. And I'm still, now I'm the only passenger on the bus. And then all I can think is, this is Final Destination 4. This is how I die. Like, I'm going to just never come back. You know, like, I'm um, a series of, not a series of important events, Twisted Tales. Yeah. Like that. Like, this This is going to seem really incident, and then I'm mugged. 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 Mugged and murdered. So, those like, so, so you haven't got a very active imagination then? No, oh God, no. So we go through Kyle Moore, we go through Lesher Frack. The next thing this bus said is, my yard. And we stop at a petrol station. And I'm like, toddling up to the bus driver going, we stopped at the gas station. Like where we stopped. And he goes, Oh, I'm just getting a coffee. You're getting a coffee. I'm the only one here you could have offered. <laughs> like what? So he gets up, gets his coffee, gets back on the bus. Now, in fairness, we weren't late. This wasn't diverging off of the time I was meant to arrive. So then I said to him, do you have a charger for a second? Because I need to tell, let my grandmother know when I'm home or like not for her. And he was like, yep, just grab mine for a second. So I do. And then grandma texts me going, where are you? Are you dead? The bus has come and gone. Two buses have come and gone. Because one was the Westport. One was the yeah. Going. And I'm thinking, maybe I am dead. Maybe and you just don't know. I just don't know. Like, maybe, maybe this is purgatory. <laughs> I actually thought at one point, does this have to deliver the dead? By bus. By bus. <laughs> Through the back end of the I think they, I think they would do a bit better than CIE. 
So we, I get off the bus, right? I said to him, thank you. And he looks at me and he goes, sure. And I'm like, sir, you could have forewarned me about these stops. So I got home and I, I said to grandma, I'm starving. And then she was like, well, what do you want? Sausage and chips. That's all I wanted. Some sausages and some chips. Only to learn. There was no chips. And just mashed potatoes. And that was just it. But see, like, I was kidnapped for a moment of time. When your passenger doesn't know where they are. And you have no battery in your phone. I have no battery. And I was like, well, I was texting my friend and I was like, lads, well, I'm going to court. And they were like, what? And I was like, wait, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. I was... I, you had no battery, but you were texting your friend's group with the 3% that have that. This, this, this everlasting 3%. No, my phone is really well under 5. Oh, okay. So okay. once we got to up to ride, it died. Like, it was dead. Um, so I just had to sit there. I had my touchpad, though. My touchpad had full battery. But because my phone was dead, I had no way to connect to Wi-Fi. Good here. So, um... Your whole week has been discombobulating. Yeah. And do you know what I think made it a little bit worse? What? Is I was a little bit stressed at the same time. I mean, I, like, literally, it would say, like, it said, like, uh, Roy Cullen. It was like Roy Cullen, Octorard, Limerick, Ennis, Clifton. Something like that. And I was like, what? What? Where are you going? Where are you going? And where are you taking? Was trying to this was great fun because he laughed at me pretty much the whole way because I was very stressed, stressed, stressed. and when you looked out, it was dark. So, so are you looking forward to coming back down and seeing Grandma? Yeah. yeah. Did you enjoy your time with us? I did actually. It's nice sometimes coming back from civilization. I have to say, Kerry, I'm going to be honest with you and Haley there, it was like a whirlwind. It was like, Haley, like, Haley staying down, which is fine, but like, I only came up because I had appointments. Yeah, no, no, I know. Like, but I'm I saying the two is coming in, and because it's so, you just don't come up and just relax. You know, you just have reasons. Yeah. And it's like, okay, ready, steady, go, 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 go. And then it's finished. Like, I feel right now, I, could, I need to go home, have a coffee, a Xanax, and go to bed. Like, just to catch up on myself. Yeah, no, it's it's been interesting. It has. Let me move this back a bit. Oh, wow. Cut me out altogether. Cut you out altogether. Right, lads, we're going to leave it there. We're just coming up to the airport, which is Dublin traffic, which is crazy because you've everybody jumping off at different junctions. So we're going to leave it there for this week, and we will talk to you in next week's vlog. Take care of yourselves, guys. Bye-bye.